still in Article 100. This one we've got three definitions to talk about, all having to do with luminaires used for emergency lighting. So we've got emergency luminaire that's directly controlled, and we've also got a emergency luminaire that's battery equipped, and we have unit equipment. All right, so let's start with the first one, which is a directly controlled emergency luminaire. Definition was revised for clarity. All right. This would be a luminaire that's supplied by a premises, premises, I like that word, emergency system with control that allows for dimming or switching upon the loss of normal power. Okay, if you don't have a backup power source, you don't have one of these. Okay, if, if all you have is a battery pack, right, like a bug eye or an exit sign or an emergency ballast, then, then this isn't what we're talking about. This is where we have an actual emergency system, a generator, uh, you know, fuel cells, whatever our backup system is going to be. All right, so here in the photograph, this is showing a directly controlled emergency luminaire. So this comes from the emergency panel board. When you walk down this hallway, you don't know if that light is on the emergency system or not because it's always on it provides normal illumination and then when things go south and the generator kicks on then this is an emergency uh, you know a directly controlled emergency luminaire there are so many options now you know it wasn't like 30 years ago when 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 i was wearing the tools and it was like, hey, man, you have a generator, you have an emergency panel, and <laughs> you wire the light. Um, a lot of these things are, are used with these little guys that allow for all sorts of dimming operations and control. It, it's kind of cool, all the different options that we have in lighting control today, especially for emergency illumination. So that would be a directly controlled emergency luminaire. It's from the emergency system. We also have a battery-equipped emergency luminaire. New definition was added. That would be a luminaire that has a battery, a battery charger, and automatic load control. All right, so this could be a wall pack like this, but more likely it's going to be a light like this where it has a battery, like an emergency ballast in this one, right? So it's got your normal illumination, and it's got your battery, your battery charger, automatic load control. So when the power turns off, the battery kicks on and it, it provides the required illumination for up to 90 minutes, you know, at 87.5%, all that stuff back in Article 700. So this would be a battery equipped emergency luminaire. We also have a new definition for an old term. We've needed this in the code forever. I'm so glad they put this in unit equipment that would be an emergency luminaire like the one in the picture that is equipped with a battery but it's not illuminated during normal conditions and it is illuminated upon the loss of normal power love that okay so you walk past a wall pack a battery pack a, a whatever you call these bug eyes frog eyes lunch boxes you walk past these and they are not on during normal conditions and then, of course, if you're like me, you push the button, you know, and see if they turn on. And they turn on when they lose power. That would be an example of unit equipment. Now, unit equipment and battery-equipped emergency luminaires are both discussed in Article 700. And I think in future editions of the code, we'll probably make a little more subtle differences between a battery equipped emergency luminaire and unit equipment. If you go to 700.12, I think it's H that talks about unit equipment and battery equipped luminaires. That's where you find the circuiting requirements and things like that. So new definitions plus a revised definition, all three having to do with emergency illumination.